ای زنان از دست طالبان را به عنوان بهانه برای اشغال خونین پیش گذاشتند و از چی و از چی از دو سال پیش که طالبان را تحت نام تغییر و بروز بروز و بروز شدنشان به قدرت رساندن نه تنها به دروغ و ریاکاری متوصل شدن بلکه جنایت آشکار علیه زنان و کل مردم افغانستان را برای منافع سازماندهی کردند ما بارها و بارها بر این The letter envisioned the future of Iran, a country that, f that fits everyone, respects everyone, and protects everyone. The letter envisioned a country that could be Iran, could be Syria, could be Palestine, could be Afghanistan, and could be all the free countries we're fighting for. Today... <laughs> As we mark a year of the women, life, freedom revolution, and as protests once again surge in Dara, in Sweda, in Idlib, in other Syrian cities, it serves as a reminder, a very powerful reminder, that true change comes from within. <laughs> is louder than our collective voice. And I'll say that one more time. No voice is louder than our collective voice. A revolutionary spirit which ha can be seen and heard on the streets of Suwaida and other cities throughout Syria. Your fight is ours, your liberation is our liberation.